Hello, it is Megan the Trainer, Registered Dietitian, and Mr. Bowman coming at you today for another segment of Nourish to Flourish. So today I and Bo, we're going to be talking, well, I'm going to be talking, we'll see what Bo has to say about it. We're going to be talking about bone health today. So a couple of episodes ago, I went through a deep dive into some of our micronutrients and we talked about calcium. And calcium is important for a whole slew of reasons, but the big thing that makes calcium famous is for bone health impact. So we're going to talk a little bit about nutritional implications for bone health. So there are a couple of different minerals that we need for our bones. So calcium is obviously a big one, but we also need phosphorus and magnesium. And there's a couple of other ones as well. But yes, we need to make sure that we're getting enough of these from our... We need to make sure that we're getting enough of this coming in from our diet, so that way we do have those pieces to build up good quality bone tissue. But that's only one piece of the puzzle. We need to put those nutrients to work. So it's kind of like a construction job site. We need the bricks, we need the concrete, we need the wood, we need the steel. We need all of those pieces to make a building, but what good are those materials if they're just sitting there in piles? So this is where strength training comes into play. So we need to put those nutrients to work. When you come into the gym and when we start lifting weights or using any kind of resistance, that is going to tug on your muscles, which then tug on your bones, which stimulate your body to put down more bone tissue. So this is where strength training can be really helpful from a bone health perspective. So ladies, listen up. Estrogen is going to play a big part in maintaining our bone density as we kind of go through our reproductive life and then into menopause, we have some changes with our hormones, which then therefore have some changes with our bones. So maximize it while you can. We have clients here at FLD that after they started training with us and incorporating good diet choices, that they have been able to increase their bone mineral density. So this is not one of those scare tactics of oh, use it or lose it kind of thing. This can definitely be restored. So if you're not strength training right now, definitely put a priority on it. Not necessarily from a muscle standpoint, from a strength standpoint, but even from a bone standpoint. So now that you know better, let's go ahead and do better so we can all be better.